Hi, Cancer. This is Pretty Intuitive. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for being here with me. Uh, so we're going to get into your love reading and take a look to see who is coming towards you in love and what is the details around that situation. Please keep an open mind as these are general tarot readings. Now, this will resonate for Cancer Moon, Rising and Venus as well. All right, what is coming to Cancer and Love, Spirit? What do we have coming to Cancer and Love, Cancer? What is coming to Cancer and Love? So you have forgiving and learning. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. You also have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So... I'm already getting that this um, situation could be involving you releasing someone, whether in the future or now, or you've already done that, Cancer, okay? Um, and there is something about forgiving and learning, forgiving yourself for any mistakes that you may have made in that situation, or forgiving that person for what they've done, but also forgiving yourself, learning from the experience um, in order to attract a better situation for you in the future. Now, at the bottom of the deck here, Cancer, you have soulmate. This is a soulmate. Okay. Now, for some of you, I am also getting maybe there isn't an actual release going on. If you are soulmates, uh, if you're in a relationship with one another, um, this could just be saying that maybe there's a need to forgive and learn within the situation and to stay optimistic about possibly, um, you know, getting back together if that is what you both want, obviously, okay? What is coming to Cancer and Love, please? Cancer, you do have loss. Allow yourself to grieve. You also have neglect. A relationship can only grow if both partners are willing to put in the work. So it does feel like uh, you may have taken a loss here for some of you with a certain situation or person. Um, bottom of the deck is neither you or your partner would ever stray. Possibly maybe in the past there was some uh, infidelity in the situation. Okay. What is coming to Cancer in love? I'm also getting that you could be grieving a soulmate connection. Okay. What's coming to Cancer in love? What is coming to Cancer in love? Cancer. Cancer, you do have the Magician here. You have the Three of Cups. You have the Queen of Pentacles. What's coming to Cancer in love? Cancer. So I do feel like I'm connecting with a Cancer that may um, be living with someone. So maybe you're separated, but you're still living together. I'm getting for some of you. Or you're trying to get your wife. You're trying to get your husband back here. Uh, you're trying to get your partner back. Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn energy is very, very strong here. But it just feels like nothing is working here with the Four of Cups. Nothing that you're saying, nothing that you're doing is getting this person back. Or nothing that they're saying, nothing that they're doing is getting you back. Again, these are general readings, guys. I don't know who did what exactly. Okay, so you're going to need to place yourself in the situation how you see it. Okay, how you see fit. But that's what the magician is talking about. Trying to get somebody back here. Trying to do everything in your power in order to get your desired result here, okay? Um, maybe there was neglect in the situation. Perhaps this person took you for granted or you took this person for granted. I do feel like there was some kind of neglect or taking the other for granted in the situation, okay? Um, and that could have cost somebody their relationship, cost them their connection or, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now it does feel like someone is still looking at what has happened here, you know, um, the fact that, you know, there's a loss here, and that's why loss came out here. You have the Five of Cups. But it feels like um, <clears throat> even so, somebody is trying to remain optimistic um, in hopefully getting back that relationship, getting back that person. I do feel that strongly. And they're going to do that through 
really genuinely trying to prove their devotion, their loyalty, um, you know, trying to uh, show that they care in generous ways, in many ways, um, physically, um, emotionally, right? That's what I feel like someone's going to try to do. That is their strategy. That is their plan here. Okay. Mm -hmm. It does feel like cancer. This could be someone that you definitely, uh, you know, had a relationship with. This person may be trying to get you back or you're get, trying to get this person back. Perhaps you guys uh, may just be friends right now. Okay. Or you just have like this arrangement going on, but you want it to turn back into the two of cups and not the three of cups. Um, it does feel like someone has their options open. I feel that way right now. Okay. Um, also getting cancer. Um, let's say this is not someone that you're in a relationship with. This person could very well be your soulmate, but perhaps they are in a third party situation at this time. Okay. Perhaps they could be in a relationship where they could have somebody. Okay. What's coming to cancer and love. What's coming to cancer and love. But I do feel like overall cancer, you still will have options. Okay. You still will have options, Cancer, uh, with the Three of Cups here. Who's coming to Cancer in love? Three more cards. Yeah. Three of Swords. Four of Pentacles. So now we have two threes here. Maybe connecting with a Sagittarius. Sagittarius had a very, very similar reading. Okay, so you may be mourning a loss over a Sagittarius uh, or a Sagittarius is mourning a loss with you. Okay, either way it goes. But you have two threes here so far. Somebody may have chose uh, a third party, chose somebody else. Okay. But um, it does feel like there is this feeling of like doing research, watching, gathering information here. And it feels like, hmm, okay, so I see you're in a relationship now or you're with someone else or you're dating somebody else. Those things can be very hurtful. Perhaps you're seeing this online or you know this person has their options open again or something like that, Cancer. But whatever this is, it definitely feels like a, a loss and there's a lot of pain around this, okay? clarify this five of cups for cancer i'm getting something about, about i wish i had treated you better you know i wish i had done things differently here that's what i'm hearing someone say the magician for cancer yeah someone's trying to get their person back here trying to win someone back over with the six of wands and the four of swords reversed someone's trying to come out of that separation and close in that gap Page of Swords is the Eight of Pentacles. Four of Swords. It just feels like someone's still not letting go, though. Someone's still not letting go, no matter how much it's hurting them. No matter how much it's hurting them, it feels like someone is still trying to get the other person back. But it feels like the person is so far. The star. Like, even if you guys live together, you know, the person is... It still feels like you guys are so far away from each other. There's a lot of distance. Emotional distance, perhaps. Someone's stressed out here. Someone's stressed out because they want to win the other person back. They want their relationship back. They want their marriage back. You know, they want things to be the way it used to be here. The Ten of, uh, sorry, the Ten of, yeah, the Ten of Wands clarified by death. Something has come to an end here. I'm getting something about like, I don't know if these efforts will be successful though. I hate to say that. I don't know if these efforts will be successful. Something's kind of telling me no, because A, it's either someone's already in a new relationship or B, um, the damage was just so far great, you know, so great that, you know, the other person just can't open up to it anymore. And, you know, it may have even caused a lack of, you know, hey, I don't even feel the same about you anymore. Okay? 
somebody may have even found out about the other person's third party and that could be what end of relationship as well like are you sorry that you you know are you really sorry you just sorry that you got caught here <clears throat> okay it's kind of what i'm getting in this situation either way cancer like i said you do have other people you're dating you have options um but it's like this one person, this one situation, you're finding it incredibly hard to get over and to release and let go. And I'm not certain, Cancer, that, you know, if you are the one trying to get this person back, that you would be successful here. Okay. Because this Three of Swords is like, you know, and we see death coming out here. Okay. Or if, if this person's doing their best to try to get you back, you, you probably already dating or seeing someone else and it's just not going to work that way. I do feel like someone is strongly regretting the way they treated the other person here. There could have definitely been some uh, neglect here, Cancer, in the situation. Like, I wish I had treated you better. And it does feel like this person is crying over you, Cancer. They're crying over you or you're crying over them. Just feels like there's a lot of tears being shed in the situation. Someone's really, really hurt. Okay. That's what it feels like. Someone's really, really, really hurt here. You know. Hmm. Anything else for Cancer in this love situation? Anything else you want Cancer to know what is coming? The Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. Separation. So if you're currently in a separation, the separation may continue on with this particular person. The Five of Wands reverse. And the Eight of Wands. It feels like someone's just not going to stop with their advances, you know? Someone's still going to keep trying. Like, can we please work on this? Can we please solve this? Can you, you know? Um, but uh, there may not be any solving it at this point. I'm getting someone could be stuck with their third party. They chose a third party. Now they're stuck with them. <clears throat> like, look, you wanted that person. You made your bed. You lay in it now. Hmm? So the signs strongly, I am getting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. Another Cancer. Yeah. This reading feels really, really, really heavy. It really does. So it's like, you know, perhaps they're like, okay, well, let's date. You know, I'll, I'll go out on dates with you. I'll hang out with you. But it doesn't feel like there's much, like, commitment here anymore. It's like someone maybe checked out or... Hmm. Okay, Cancer, please share your story down below. Thank you for being here with me. Talk to you soon.